What's good everyone, it's your boy Yidzig, 4 eyes, 2 gs here, and today we're here to talk about YBN, all the members, as well as the group. Now, if you guys didn't know, recently it came out, according to Namir at least, that the YBN crew is no longer a thing. On top of this, I've been getting a ton of comments to kind of revisit YBN Namir and the current status of his career, and not only that, I'm going to cover Jay and Corday as well, all the data, all the analytics, all the stuff you guys like, let's get into it. Yeah, I got the city in the choco left food up just like I'm Goku, I be moving like a mogul, taking trips, I'm never local. Make your BM give me vocal, then I probably won't approach you. Dead the car, girl, I don't know you, I'm a savage, thought I told you. Can't say much, I'm antisocial, so I probably never troll you. I be dripping with the sauce to tell the truth. And firstly, guys, before we get onto the whole YBN situation, just a reminder if you guys don't know about my Playboy Cardi merch giveaway, it's an unreleased piece I did back from 2017. As you can see, the design is really, really fire. Super, super simple to enter. All you gotta do is head over to my Instagram at your dig be following me like the post tag two friends in the comments and you're in the running to win I do ship anywhere internationally and I do pay for the shipping myself so no reason not to enter as I said go over to my IG if you want to enter link will be in the description but let's get on to the video okay firstly let's kick it off with YBN Namir now I'm gonna kind of use some updated statistics that I've got access to and then kind of break them down so first of all are his Spotify numbers and as you can see right here they've been kind of inconsistent and pretty much on a downward trend for a while we saw him at about 4.5 million this time last year and then you see this big spike over there that really doesn't mean much because that's when you drop two seater with offset and g easy and that got a lot of playlists and, and a lot of money invested into it so of course you'd see the numbers kind of rise but since then as you can see it's been a pretty clear decrease in numbers for him and he's sitting at about 3.4 million monthly spotify listens right now which is not a good situation considering last year he was higher than this and he really wasn't dropping too much music so yeah i definitely wouldn't say his career is finished or is completely done but he's definitely on the steady decrease right now as we know he's dropped two big league singles with huge artists we had effort up with tiger and city girls and then we also had two seater with g easy and offset now again look at those features these songs aren't meant to be underground they're meant to be mainstream hits because the label has invested a lot into them and as you guys can see right here effort up didn't really do much it didn't make it onto the top 200 on spotify it didn't even make it onto the hot 100 billboard and then secondly two seater only spent two days on the top 200 on spotify fell out and never returned it didn't get on the billboard top 200 100, but to be fair at the moment it does have 22 million streams on Spotify so it didn't completely flop and it didn't completely bomb but it's pretty evident it wasn't that mainstream hit that it was meant to be again g easy offset you're thinking top Spotify numbers billboard charts all of that but it didn't really connect on that bigger level and then just for comparison's sake rubbing off the paint which of course as we know was his big breakout song spent two months on the top 200 Spotify chart so as you can see if two seater only spent two days and then effort up didn't make it at all you can see they just really didn't perform that well and then on top of this we have to talk about the delay for his album according to him in this interview right here he was meant to drop it in 2019 but then he recently came out and just said the album was done in May of 2020 but we haven't really heard much about it since if I was to guess like I said in the last video and it was pretty accurate Atlantic have kind of gone whoa hold up we dropped two big lead singles they didn't really do much we kind of need to hold out on this album wait for another hit let's put out another single let's see what's good but yeah that's just kind of my speculation but it's very clear it's been delayed by the album at least to me at this stage. Okay, so that's kind of like Namir. Next, we have to move on to Almighty J, and it's kind of the same story, unfortunately. As you can see right here, these are his Spotify numbers, and again, they're not exactly looking too pretty. This time last year, he was sitting in at about 1.6 million, and then he increased a bit right here because he dropped music, and then pretty much since then, it's been a pretty steady decline. And then right now, he's actually slipped under 1 million Spotify listeners. And then on top of that, we get to his top 10 most played on Spotify, and it's pretty evident that most of those listeners are listening to all of his older music. There's only three recent songs released after 2019 on this, Red Light, which only has 3 million plays, FaceTime, which was a feature of his, which has nearly 500,000 plays, and then Spaceship, which has nearly 5 million, which you might think is okay, but look at all the other music he released in 2018 and before, 23 million, 18, 43, 28. Comparatively, these are all less than 5 million, which means people aren't really gravitating and people aren't really listening to his new music. So yeah, unfortunately, not really a good situation in regards to Jay right now. Now, Corday, I'm not gonna say anything bad in regards to Corday because I really have nothing bad to say. It's pretty clear at this stage he's the best in the group, he's the most talented, he drops the best music, and in my opinion, he's probably gonna have the longest career. If you guys haven't heard this project right here called The Lost Boy, please do yourself a favor, go listen to it. It was such a good release. On top of that, a 
It even got two Grammy nominations, which was insane because think of a young artist who's really got Grammy nominations, let alone two of them, and there isn't a lot of them. So yeah, really, really good project. I don't have anything bad in regards to him. As you can see on screen right here, a lot of his music gets a lot of play, gets a lot of love, and gets a lot of streams. Corday is in a really good position right now. He hasn't dropped music in 2020 at all, and I believe when he drops, his fans are just going to come right back because he really makes long-lasting music, at least I think. So yeah, definitely out of the group, Corday has the most longevity in my opinion, and he's doing the best. Okay, so now I've broken down those numbers, I want to get onto the news that we just got today about YBM breaking up. Now, before we get onto that, a shameless plug for my merch. If you guys don't know, I've got a bunch of merch pieces up on my big cartel right now. You guys can see the Cardi merch, my only dig merch piece. We got other Cardi merch, we got some Travis merch, etc, etc. Link in description if you want to go cop. I'm still shipping out right now during COVID and I do ship internationally, so feel free to peep it if you're interested. But anyway, let's get back to this right here. YBN Amir on Twitter, quote, they left this YBN sh in the gutter. Remember that? I'll turn it up myself. Then he responds to a fan saying, wait, what? And he said, yeah, it's only me, kid. Now, first of all, this is such a tragic thing to hear. Firstly, because YB and the mixtape Loki had some really, really good songs on it. And on top of that, if you guys have watched the interviews that they did together, as you can see right here, they've done a bunch of them together, follow their Instagrams, etc., etc. You know, throughout that early period of around like 2017, 2018, they were like super, super tight. And they were all really, really close friends. You guys probably know the history history of them playing online games together and stuff like that. So first of all, just on that tip, it's really, really sad to see. And on top of that, to me at least, this really doesn't come as too much of a surprise because as I said, compared to 2017, 2018, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, we really haven't seen them together like they were in the past. So yeah, off rip, that's not good to see and hopefully they can kind of reconcile. If I was to guess what happened here, you know, as a group, it's really, really hard to function. In a group dynamic, it's always really difficult when people kind of have different success. Of course, Jay is probably the least successful, Namir was the most successful at the start, but now it's probably Corday who's the most successful or at least gets the most praise and the most respect. So yeah, when that kind of happens and everybody kind of is on different planes in terms of success, it can lead to hurt egos, tarnish relationships and people just not seeing eye to eye. So I'm guessing some of that played a role in it. On top of that, maybe it's like a personal thing when you kind of just outgrow some of your friends you had in the past. You guys know this, you probably don't have the exact same friends that you had two or three years ago. And if you do, maybe the closest of your relationship with them has changed because you know, there's still growing up, they're still young, so they're still kind of developing and figuring out who they want in their life still. So that could also be a factor in this case. Also, what is a little surprising to me though, we kind of haven't seen this come out publicly before, at least what I could find and at least from what I've seen. You know, when this happens, sometimes we'll see rappers go on Instagram and kind of call out their group members, you know, shame them publicly, etc, etc. But from what I've seen, we really haven't seen them beef, at least seriously recently at least. So yeah, it did come as a little bit of a surprise, but overall the news didn't come as too much of a surprise, but it just kind of sucks to see, especially is a fan of their music like I am. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. One, who do you guys think is the best and worst in YBN? And secondly, why do you think they broke up? Do you think they're going to get back together? Let me know. Also guys, just a reminder about my Playboy Cardi merch giveaway that I'm doing. As I said at the start of the video, super easy to enter. All you got to do is follow me, like this post, tag two friends in the comments, and you're in the running to win. As I said, I ship anywhere internationally and I pay for the shipping myself. No strings attached, no reason not to enter. So make sure to if you want to. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications. I'm pumping out the content for y'all, so your support will be much appreciated. And there are more videos of mine on screen right now. Make sure to check them out if you haven't.